And today we're going to be making a sleep dress with a um, cow neckline. So, and it's a very easy and um, beginner friendly project. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Fumi and if this is your first time seeing me, welcome. Um, please don't forget to subscribe and like if you like this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Today, we're going to be making a sleep dress with a um, cow neckline. And it's a very easy and beginner friendly project. All you need is your fabric and matching thread, of course, with your sewing machine. So, um, if you'd like to see how to make this dress, stay tuned. Alright, so first I'm starting off with my brown paper and you can see with my measuring tape, the first thing that I'm doing is measuring my half length. I'm using this brown paper to make a pattern for the upper um, half of my dress, that's from my shoulder to my waist. So I'm trying out a new um, method called slash and spread for the cowl area. So what I've just done now is to mark my half length and then I'm just connecting that line together. So that's half length is from your shoulder to your waistline. And that's the line that I've drawn right here. So the next measurement I'm taking is half of my shoulder to shoulder measurement which for me is 7 inches and then I'm coming down at that point by 1 inch and yeah I'm marking my neckline even though I, you actually don't need your neckline for this um, for this tutorial but I just marked that because I was just really used to it. Next up is my armhole. My armhole is 8 inches wide. Um, to get yours, you divide your bust measurement by 6 and then add an inch and a half. Then on that line where my armhole is, I'm marking my bust measurement divided by 4 plus an inch for sewing allowance and another inch because this dress is not fitted. Like it's a bit loose so I just added another inch and a half for extra space. And then now I'm connecting my armhole together. If this part is not really clear to you you can check back on my tutorial for a body's block pattern it will be a lot clearer now i marked my um, i just marked my waist divided by four inches plus an inch for sewing allowance and under inch and a half for space and then i'm just making a curve at my armhole and connecting all of my points together and then after that i'm just cutting out my pattern So this is what I have and next up I'm going to come to the shoulder line because when you're doing a dress with straps like this you you shouldn't use your full shoulder to shoulder measurement you should come in maybe by an inch or two for me I, I am coming in by two inches and so this is my new armhole and then around the middle I'm coming in by another half inch because this is the front piece and then from the neckline i'm coming down by four inches that's from the top of my pattern paper four inches and this is sort of like the neckline of this dress of this top so now i'm going to cut it out And then now onto the splash and the slash and spread method i'm just snipping my pattern paper this is why it's called slash and spread you make some slashes in your pattern and then you spread it out when you're cutting it on the paper i mean on the fabric and for the armhole i just came in just by a bit i ended up not using the armhole that i drew because i'm going for a cow neck and i just want some more loose fabric in that area in the neck area so as you can see this is sort of how you spread it out to cut the more you spread it out the more volume you would have so that's up to you now to cut on the fabric i've spread out my pattern this is what I'm going for, just something very moderate and nothing too extra and then I've pinned everything in place. So by the time I'll be cutting it out, I'm just going to follow the pattern. Now from the waistline right here, 
I'm going to use my measuring tape. My half length is 16 inches. So from 16 inches, I'm going to go down and mark my um, dress length. I'm going for a midi length for this dress. So I'm just marking um, all the way down to somewhere in between my knee and my ankle, which for me is about 47 inches. And then from the waistline, I'm coming down by 9 inches. This is my hip line. That's the distance between your waist and your hips. And on that line, I'm marking my hip measurement divided by 4 plus an inch for sewing allowance and another inch and a half for extra space because like I said, this dress is not fitted. So now I'm just going to use my chalk to mark the neckline and then I'm just connecting my waistline to that hip measurement that I made and from there I'll just go straight down to my hemline so now I'm just cutting out everything as you can see I'm following my pattern paper the armhole and then down the side i left like half an inch after the um, pattern just in case and then this is the full length of the dress and this is what we have for the front piece of the dress now for the back piece i've spread out my front piece on my folded fabric this is the front as you can see i spread it out and then i folded the half length over and then I replaced it with my pattern paper because the upper half of the back is very different from the front so I'm using my pattern paper to cut that part out as well just going to follow this neckline and come in a bit on the armhole as well but you see it as we go but yeah basically this is it so as you can see I'm cutting and following the pattern with the armhole and the neckline and then from the waist down is basically the same thing with the front and then now i'm taking off the pattern paper and then taking off my front piece this is what we have i'm going to come in on the armhole just a bit and then deepen the neckline slightly and this is the final look So that's the armhole this is the neckline this is where the strap is going to be attached so yeah now this is our back piece and our front piece you can see how different they look i'm just snipping this edge just a bit because if it looked a bit pointy to me now for the straps i have my fabric here and I'm making it two inches wide so with my measuring tape I'm marking two inches all the way across so just at different points marking my two inches and then I'm just going to cut it out for each strap um, you'd need about 10 inches what I have here is over is well over 20 inches so this is going to work for both straps now I have my remaining fabric here and I folded it over here and here I want to cut the facing of the front and the back pieces this is basically what we're going to use to finish the neckline and the armhole so I'm placing my back piece first of all and just carefully placing it making sure everything is aligned this fabric is very silky and like it moves around a lot so i'm just trying to be careful so this is my back piece and i've just placed it on top of the folded fabric and then this is the front piece So make sure that your armhole is completely covered when you do this facing because this is what we're using to finish the armhole and neckline 
so your facing has to stop below your armhole as you can see here so i'm just pinning everything in place and then as soon as i'm done with this i'm going to cut it out so you can see that my facing covers my armhole so i'm just cutting out the armhole and just a bit down the side and then same thing for the back as well and here are all our pieces our front and back pieces the facing and then the one piece for the straps now we're ready to get sewing finally So this is my back neckline, I've attached my straps, don't worry I'm going to show you, show you how to do this with the front piece. So as you can see the straps are attached, the neckline is sewn and what I did was basically to take my straps, I marked this point, um, this is 9.5 inches, so I marked that because that's where I'm going to attach the front. If you want your straps to be longer you can go for that but for mine nine and a half is completely fine so i'm making sure that that line i marked with my chalk is aligned with my facing this piece you can see here is the facing piece for the front of our dress so i'm just aligning my straps to it just follow what i'm doing in the video and then I'm coming in with my front piece and I spread it on top so you can see front side facing front side and then I've pinned the straps in place with a little bit of like half an inch on the side and then I'm just going to sew along the neckline always remember to press your fabrics especially like the neckline and the armhole as you sew and this is what I have after attaching the straps as you can see i've pressed everything and it looks neat so next up we're going to do the armhole and there's nothing complicated about this all you have to do is take your facing flip it over so that the right sides of the fabric are facing each other and then you sew the armhole and then you turn it right side out and that's it so i'm just going to do that on the front and on the back as well and then sew down the sides and we're almost done all right after doing that next up and finally is to hem our dress so what you need to do is actually double fold on the hem but i really want this to look so neat so i'm trying out this method i'm going to fold once and then sew like this i folded it over once and sew right on the edge as you can see and then i'm going to fold it again and then sew on the edge on the very edge of the fold just to tuck in all those rough edges it's going to give you such a neat finish and this is my dress this is the first um try of the dress and here are some pictures that i took in the dress I really love this dress i styled it differently with the black top underneath and my sneakers thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions at all let me know in the comment section and if you have any requests on a tutorial that you'd like to see me do you can um, send that to me on instagram my instagram is linked in the description box thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next week bye